mentioned that addition of Frank Clark. That's a guy that was just added this week for D. Croft. And man, oh man, what a payoff already. Five and a half sacks in the semifinal win that we saw on the way to 12 sacks total in that game. But here's the thing. This will probably be a zero sack game for D. Croft here because Joke never passes. And I say that literally. He's run 130 plays in this tournament. He has passed not even once. And in fact, that's a punter at quarterback. Tress Way hands it off. Gail Sayers gets decked. That's just how it is. These guys really commit to the run. They're not going to bring a quarterback. You're going to see run, run, and they won't be afraid to punt. But yes, the Frank Clark's wasting cap for Decroft, but he's got that Jerome Baker with inside stuff to help blow up these runs. 255s on your screen. Frank Clark, one time Seahawk, who's a Certainly the favorite team of D. Croft. And Jerome Baker of the Dolphins. There's Gail Sayers scooting outside and dragged down from behind. That's a pretty nice tackle right there, too, by a card that's been very valuable, Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, absolutely. He's about 98, 99 speed, cheap cap. He's a great card to have. But D. Croft's in this new defense. This, he is known for a specific run defense, a 3-4, but he's not in it. He's in this 3-3-5 wide so far, and he spreads his line, and he tries to shoot the gap with that read at, at linebacker. Lattimore, by the way, had the game-ending sack against Pavin for Joke. And here's Sayers <laughs> tripping his way left. It's only three yards on three carries to make it fourth and seven. The D. Croft defense standing up. Huge stop to start the game, but honestly with Joke, he spent so much cap on his defense, he's okay with punting the ball here. And it's a great punt, I believe it's going right out of bounds. Perfect punt. You know, just back to that run game that Decroft has got to stop. Gail Sayers, for Joke, went for 343 against Volterax, who's supposed to have an airtight defense. There was a 95-yard touchdown run in there. There's been some big plays from Decroft on offense. We've seen his Hollywood Brown get loose. 93-yard touchdown earlier today at a 99-yarder a couple days ago. Well, that's just how he plays. He actually wants to take the underneath, the underneath, the underneath. But when he finally catches you sleeping and you're trying to get greedy and you're trying to take away the underneath, that's when he'll pull out a bomb play and he'll find a broken coverage over the top. Well, coming into today, Daniel Mycroft had made around $20,000 in his Madden career. Already, he's banked $25,000 today. And he's got a chance for 40 more right here. His first opportunity, although he's a big-time Seahawks fan, young Kiv claimed the Seahawks uniforms in this tournament, so he's going Bengals because of his love, uh, love of Joe Mixon. There's no love at all coming in hot again. That's Lattimore, this time for Joke. See, it's a very interesting, I think it's too early for me to say this, but that first play, I feel like Decroft's kind of outthinking himself. I haven't seen him call that route combo, the first play of the game in any game he's played. But like I said, him and Joke played a bunch. So it, like, it just makes you kind of wonder, does he feel like what he what got him here isn't enough for Joke? That, that's going to be something interesting to look for. It's the old I know what you know that I know that you know thing. And I think we'll go back and forth on that this entire game with 40 grand and a belt on the line. And Aaron Rodgers at quarterback here. He'll scamper and get decked at the 15-yard line. So with third and long. You know, in this position, I look for Joke to really send the house here and just give him something underneath to force a fourth down. However, his coverage defense has been perfect. No one's been open any time but I'm just trying to put myself in Joke's shoes. I'm looking for him to really try to blitz right here. Joke in his 11th EA major. He's been second once, third twice, fifth twice, ninth twice. So close, so often. Can he finally run all the way through the tape on national television today? Thanks to our ESPN partnership. Thanks to everybody at EA Sports. It's been a tremendous tournament. Josh Lewin, Michael Skimbo, privileged to bring it to you. Aaron Rodgers goes down. There's Lattimore one more time. Well, it's exactly what I was trying to think Joke would do. He sent everyone. You see, he's disguising his coverage well. He's bringing these slot corners right on the line. Sometimes they're jumping in coverage, and sometimes they are coming at the quarterback. And right there on that third and 15, he sent everyone at him, and now they just traded stops. Joke's right back on serve. And a lickety split first quarter. Now, we should mention with Joke, he was a 
a high school point guard for a good program. I, I would suggest to you, Skimbo, that's a transferable skill set to Madden, right? Point guard, you got to see what's in front of you and react in a flash. Yeah, but I can't believe he's punted down the middle. He's given him a chance to return it. Oh, it could have been a bigger play than what it was. But believe it or not, I've actually played basketball with Joe. Because sometimes we all get together at these Madden tournaments and we all go out. And we've played Balda before. And believe it or not, he is actually a really good point guard. I believe it. And he's a very good Madden player. Just doesn't have the belt yet. If he gets one here, Gale Sayers will lead the way. The Kansas Comet. And I, and I have to pick up with what I heard. I believe if he does win a belt, I would put him as probably number five or number six on an all-time list. But, like, it's just, you know, he probably wants this. Him and his crew want Joke to win this belt so bad. He's had so many chances. He's just got to put it together. He's been Mr. Almost in this Madden universe. And Sayers just playing oh, bumper cars wow. right there. Whew. Josh, speaking of almost, he's had two chances to just pop these runs. You see these safeties for Decroft. They're going to try to shoot the gap, and if they miss, he's gone. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, he almost had the wiggle right there, too, just trying to score him forward. He gets the first down as we get out of the first quarter. We've got uh, five minutes on the clock. That is Madden length of quarters here. And again, if you're, if you're new to Madden, this is a salary cap mode that we're in, right? So even though you're seeing Titans uniforms here, you're not going to see very many, if any, actual Tennessee Titans. Sayers again gets crushed. Absolutely. You're going to see different players from different teams all in these uniforms. They're rocking. And early, Decroft just went right back in his run defense. He's known for this 3-4 pinch. He's going to put a user in the box. Watch his user. He's going to try to loop around and blow up runs himself. And Gale Sayers finally popped free here at the 43-yard line going in in a scoreless game. 40 grand on the line, and number 40, able to get past the 40. And, you know, Skimbo, since you're a, a part-time golfer, I'm going to put it in this realm for you here. Phil Mickelson, for 12 years, was described as the best player to never win a major. I mean, in a five-year stretch, he had 17 top 10 finishes, never an actual win, no green jackets, no trophies. And finally, he won the Masters and got that monkey off his back. This is the Masters, right? I mean, this is the green jacket of Madden, this particular tournament. A absolutely. I agree with that as Decroft calls a timeout. That was actually referenced as me as one time because I lost a couple finals before I won my first belt a couple years ago. So I've been in his shoes. And it's one of those deals, once you win one, you just start rolling. It's just, and he could start rolling because he's always consistent. But remember who his kicker is in this down. He's got a third and seven. He does not need to lose about four yards, and he should be good for a field goal at least. Yeah, Zane Gonzalez, his kicker, might not need him. Gale Sayers will blast forward close to the 25-yard line. Move those chains. Great run stick right there. Like I said, you guys got to pay attention to Decroft's user. He's really trying to blow up these runs. However, I've said this, they've had rep. Jokes, joke knows how to get his user caught up, so he's going with this dive and then popping it to the outside. Remember, he's got the nasty streak on a couple of these old linemen. He's got the identifier on the center, Alex Mack. So a strong firewall in front of Gale Sayers. 3.20 to go first half and still no score. We'll see here if Joe can push that throttle down. Not yet. Again, close but can't quite turn the corner. That's 10 rushes for Sayers, averaging about three per carry. Yeah, and I want to explain this to the viewers at home very closely. Look at his top two safeties. They are in spies. They're going to commit fully on the run. He has Joe Thomas at wide receiver on the right side. He is not going to pass. So if you're thinking at home, if he just passes the ball, puts a guy on a streak, it's a touchdown. That is right. However, he didn't bring a quarterback or wide receivers. So watch these safeties really get down the box when it's snapped. Somewhere Joe Thomas is watching wow. this going, really? I'm out wide. Sayers getting wide, getting loose. Touchdown! Just, it's, it's exactly what I said. He's found a run. He's found this dive call and then popping it to the left. He's had a lot of success, and it was only a matter of a time before he broke one for a touchdown. You just pound away and pound away. You tenderize the meat right before it barbecues fully. And there's Gale Sayers trotting into the end zone, a 7-0 lead. Mostert wrapped up at a big kick return for Decroft a little while ago. Here's your Snickers replay. 
Just that simple dive, pop to the left, and that's Gale Sayers with 99 speed. If he's got open grass, you're not going to catch him. One of the really I fun things you and I have talked about at Skimbo, when you marry gameplay no, with NFL angle. history, and everybody's I now Googling Gale Sayers, I invite you to do that. What a tremendous player he was. Like, like Barry Sanders, born in Wichita, Kansas. You might have to, to Google Barry Sanders, depending on how old you are. But for young, for old, hey. everybody in the middle, it's fun. I know you don't have to. I, I, I was about to say, Josh, you know where I'm from, man? I'm from Oklahoma. How no, do I not know who Barry Sanders is? <laughs> you kidding me? Tell him to, tell him, okay, tell him I, to I go I should have been a little bit more specific. No not you. you. You don't I have to find our friend, Mr. Google. Google. All right, so a technical timeout here. Decroft was a little bit frustrated with his like console in game one today. Are, are you seeing anything or hearing anything, Skimbo, that leads you to believe he's got a point? Well, I'll just let everyone know what happened. You know, I played this game way too much, so just know I, I understand what's going on. So what happened is he came to the line of scrimmage and he couldn't snap the ball. Sometimes that happens. You take it, the delay. For the most part, we're going to decline. You see Joke accepted it, but what Decroft's trying to tell him, I, I couldn't snap the ball. Hopefully they get this worked out. Either way, first and 10, first or 15, Decroft's going to have to come through this, you know, and put this drive together because being down 7-0 to a runner, you don't ever want that to happen. Still looking like a cool customer is Daniel Mycroft, and you and I have kind of joked about it. I think everybody in the Madden community now is kind of fascinated with how this guy, who is the son of an Englishman, is a very polite, almost exceedingly polite dude. And then he gets into the heat of battle in Madden, and it's like you're you're listening to, to 50 Cent all of a sudden. I mean, he just he he will let the expletives fly during a Madden game, but then it's, oh, pleasure to meet you. So nice to make your acquaintance if, if, as soon as the game is over. Uh, yeah, you know, game. playing sports all my it? life, I've always told coaches, whatever, and about certain pro athletes back in the day, nicest guys no, off the I, court, off the well, field. But as soon as they the get in competition mode and they get on that field, yeah. or in this in this case, D-Cross gets on the sticks, guys. it's just like, a, like something just flips, like a different – like a switch it's like just something just changes where they do they become this competitive monster and they will do whatever it takes to win as for joke and again he says he's done everything but win a belt i mean he's won underground tournaments but that's obviously not the same as actually getting a belt he struck first in this one skimbo and, and as you said it was just a matter of time before he popped one with gail sayers yeah, uh, yeah, right here. Like I said, this dive bounced to the left. The user just wasn't there. And look at this blocking in the top right. You know, just everyone was just, it was a hat on a hat. And that's Gale Sayers. You're just not going to catch him. It's all about the run game and defense for this man now. But, you know, just a few Madden Bowls ago, Madden Bowl 17, this is a guy that was involved in a game that had 81 points in it, right? He was playing I'm Wild. That was a 47-34 game, but it's just that the meta now, I think, rewards the running, rewards the defense, so he's made that flip. Yeah, and this style honestly fits Joke. I've known this guy for years. He's always gotten in trouble because he just throws picks in the worst time. However, when you don't have a quarterback, you can't throw picks. You're just going to run the ball. So the only mistake you make is not getting a first down. And the one time he almost turned it over, as we get to the two-minute warning, in that semifinal game, there was that big hit from Pavan. He coughed the ball up, and it bounced right to Eli Manning, of all people. I, I, I saw that was a crazy play. But if you pay attention to the game right there, Joke actually just called a timeout. I love that timeout. His defense is so good. He doesn't want an adjustment to be wrong. Guys, pro players, they make these crazy adjustments. I know everything looks the same on offense, and it even looks the same on defense, but nothing's ever the same. Negative yards in this game so far for Decroft. Here comes the heat, and down he goes, and to put it in that M&M parlance, Mom Spaghetti is on that Seahawks polo right now. Everything is was just bagged. Joke had perfect defense. I thought this motion over slant going across the middle is going to be open. Then he had a match concept. It's called a three wreck on the field. It matched perfectly. No one was open. Great defense by Joe. 
Brings up a third and 12, and Decroft, who really can air it out. I mean, <laughs> we've seen it so many times. Negative 12 yards so far in this game. And about to get hit, he'll take off and run, but not get too far. Another fourth down is forced. It is, and, and I'm going to say this. This is a smart punt, and you're going to think, I hope, of course it's a smart punt. It's fourth and eight. You know, you're in your own field position. However, with Madden, the games are so short. These guys, they'll go for it right here. That's just the game we play because every possession is so important. Oh, he kicked it to Dion again. And punting has not been a strong suit for Decroft this week. Got to be honest about that. But here he is at 19 years old. And just to reset it, it for you, right. hey, this guy needed an undefeated run in the last chance qualifiers, beating four club champions along the way. Then a great player in Jay Wall twice. He's going to need a four-game win streak right now if he's going to actually hoist a belt above his head. And I'd suggest to you, Skimbo, that's so tough with this field, right? We haven't seen anybody win four in a row yet in two weeks of playing Madden here. It is. It's just it's top-level Madden. It happens. It's so even. You know, anyone can win. It's just they're that good. But you got to go back to that last play. What a perfect user shoot by D. Crop blowing up the run in the backfield and has those safeties come down to help clean up the mess. If you're a joker, you're just trying to, to get that field goal, try to get it to around the 40-yard line so you can try to go up 10-zip. Absolutely. He's going to take all this clock with him. Sayers gets punished. But again, got in the end zone once. So we take it down to 20 seconds left. It's a third and eight. I'm curious to see how Joke's going to play this. Do you try to run the ball with one second as he should? It doesn't look like he's going to call two plays. This is going to be the last play of the half. One shot for <gasps> Gale Sayers. He's got some open field. And actually loses the football, but again, a fumble recovery. Franco Harris scooped it up. And we get to break in a low-scoring 7-0 ball game with 40 grand and a belt on the line. Josh, that was a scary way to end the half. There was open field for Joe. Oh, thank goodness this is the end of the year when Decroft has all that speed on defense to catch up because if that was a couple months ago, he's not getting caught. 7 nothing because of a 24-yard touchdown run from the great Gale Sayers. And as we get set for the third quarter now, did you know some of the competitors you've been seeing today are actually in Madden as coaches. If you look in the Ultimate Team menu for the Competitive tab, you'll find the new Madden Bowl-themed game day program. You can get Madden Pro players like Drini and Kib, Clef, Mills, Henry. You can get MCS uniforms, lots of other exclusive content, so we do invite you to check it out. And we appreciate you checking out Decroft against Joe Keir in the final. There is 19-year-old Daniel Mike Croft. At least he's got within seven here, Skimbo, and he's got the ball. He does, and what Joke's doing on offense is what they call in the Madden community the Oakland Tour. That means Joke is trying to come out in every run possible in this playbook to find a run that works first Decroft's defense. And as you see, it looks like Joke's found something with this dive and this bounce as soon as he, as soon as he gets the ball. The belt that they're playing for, again, neither man has won one yet. Is that thing not gorgeous? 12 pounds, 700 rhinestones on that baby. And we'll have a ceremony after the game, even in this, as we call it, the new normal, where we can't literally just hand it off. And I'm assuming we don't have confetti traps up above the guy's heads here, so it's not going to be exactly like we always know it. But somebody is going to get that belt. Somebody is going to win the 40 grand, a 7 nothing score at halftime. That that belt, Josh, is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, they, I don't. My belts I have don't look like that. I'm a little jealous. Well, go cry into a big bag of money. You got 300 grand to play in this game so far. Madden Pro three-time belt winner Michael Skimbo. Here's that Chris Johnson, who's supposedly one of the best players you can have. This is not a completely loaded up version, though, right? Not a souped-up Chris Johnson. No, but it's good enough, and he has good speed. Look for Decroft to really try to mix up these route combinations and different motioning, because so far, honestly, for Joke, his defense, everyone's been guarded. 
Rodgers cannot escape. He gets belted. It's picked up by one of the offensive linemen. So this defense uh -oh. from Joke is no joke. It's third and seven. That could have been game changing. If Joke's defender picks that up, it's a two possession game. That is a huge, huge break for Decroft to not turn the ball over there. He's a little reckless with his quarterback, got pop, and thank goodness his lineman picked it up off the ground. That's a game changing play. Can he finally get a Come receiver on, open man. here? No, sir. Aaron Rodgers thrown down. Three. And again, those 55s make so much noise in this game right now. Whether it's Frank Clark or Jerome Baker, you got trouble. You're really giving me chances. It is, but this is this is something I haven't seen enough when people play Decroft. A lot of people just giving them time to do this motion over. Again, not a good pump by Decroft. And Dion will take it out to the 35-yard line. Will seven points possibly be enough here? I mean, Joke was telling us yesterday when he ended up winning, if I get to 10, I love my chances. He's at seven right now and looking great. It's looking like it. This is Madden 20, so yes, seven points is enough. Oh, a chance right there to gun the engine and go deep. And a shoestring tackle oh. to prevent it. This is unbelievable. There are runs that are just looking like he's about to pop them. Couldn't turn the corner. And that time it was Ward that got in there and knocked him over like a bowling pin. So with 2.35 to go in the third quarter, here is Joke looking for that first belt. Remember, this is 11th shot at it. His 11th time in an EA major. Will the 11th time be the charm? He's up by seven. If you're, if you're looking at what he's doing, you guys are seeing he's going through all these plays. He's not actually going to call any of those plays, by the way. He's trying to give this Gale Sayers enough time to get his stamina back because he does not have a backup running back. It, 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 well, and looks like he's going to put his fullback in, Frank Harris, to take a snap because that's how tired Gale is. Fastest fullback out there, Joke told us. And Franco Harris, 12 years with the Steelers, one with the Seahawks. Guy that went to nine straight Pro, uh, Pro Bowls, four-time Super Bowl champion. So not a bad guy to bring off your bench. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll be shocked. I want to, you know, Joe has a good mental. I'd be shocked if every time he snaps the ball, it, it's not, you know, it's going to be under 10 seconds. Like, he's going to try to end this game. This is about, he actually wants to make this the last drive if he possibly could. We've got a first-time belt winner guaranteed. Gale Sayers again. There was daylight, but it closed on him. It's going to be third down. Just pay attention to this clock. Let's see if he can snap the ball and get the play done under 40 seconds to take it to the fourth quarter. I, I, I'm not sure if he's thinking that far ahead, though. I would be. If I played his kind of style, I would not snap this ball until one second. Zane Gonzalez is kicker, about the best you can have for distance, right? So even four yards here, he's got a shot at a field goal, which would be huge. Yes, and, and that's what he's doing. He's letting the clock go. He's trying to bounce it. Oh, he has Come one. On. He Come does on. have one. It's catered. Jackpot for joke. Stevie, I love you. Just, it's just so smart. It's so smart because this is his game plan. He wants a low scoring game. Look at him. He Come was on, taking Dio. all that clock away. And the fact you pop a touchdown when you're really just trying to milk someone out, that's the best feeling in the world as a runner this year in Madden 20. Who was he shouting out there? He said, Stevie, I love you. Hey, man, a lot of love in that crew. That crew goes deep, man. They got, they got a lot of people in that crew. The replay, the 46-yard run. Again, we thought he was just looking for maybe three or four to set up a field goal, but he found much more. Absolutely, because he, he's been getting three or four every down. It's not like Decroft's had great run defense blowing it up. And now on this side of the ball, Decroft had zero points, and we're almost in the fourth quarter. That is telling you how well Joke is managing this game. Decroft is supposed to be a high-octane passer. Zero Let's passing go, yards on. in this game. It's just, so this is what Joke's doing. He's sending blitz, but it's a cover two. He is depending on his user lurking two routes. Oh, there's a completion. That was Dwight Freeney on the sack right before that, by the way. Dwight Freeney, a guy that actually won a Madden Bowl himself back when NFL players were playing. And here we are, Skimbo. 14-0 for Joke. 
That elusive belt is in sight now. Five minutes left. And we'll see if he can hang on or not here. We're going to take a quick timeout for our friends on ESPN. We'll come back for the final five minutes in just a moment. And for those of you on Twitch and YouTube with us all day, it's time for the fourth quarter presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't try to This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. And for those of you watching us on Twitch, make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account for a chance at a 95 overall Gronk. And if you tune in for an hour today of the Madden Bowl, you'll get a random 98-99 overall player from the top five of the NFL Draft Class of 2020. What a run it's been for the guy on the left, D. Croft, from up near Seattle. But it's Joke ahead here, 14-0 with five minutes left. Skimbo, can Joke hang on and grab that first ever belt? Unless something just magically happens, it's looking that way. His defense has been so sound. D. Croft just trying to call this slant post combo. And that user by Joke is taking away both routes. He's guarding both routes with one user. Aaron Rodgers, a quarterback, Tyree Kill, John Ross, Marquise Brown, all available. I mean, these are stud wide receivers, but they can't get open. Got it away. There's Tyree Kill to move the chains. Yeah, but like I say, watch this clock. It's going to tick, tick, tick. It just went down the, it just took off 25 seconds coming out of play. He's got to move this ball quick. He's down two possessions. He's got to get stuff going quick. Joke is the king of three or four minute possession. So yeah, got to strike and strike very quickly now. That won't help. I love this defense Joke's doing. It's similar to what he does out of bunch. He's going to bring that corner on the left side in. He's going to act like he's blitzing both guys. Sometimes they're blitzing and sometimes they're dropping in coverage. And when they do drop in coverage, everyone is just bagged. Tyree Kill past the 40 yard line. So you're a little bit closer. But again, to your point, Skimbo, valuable time off the clock. Absolutely, and Joke's fine with that. He's going to give you the underneath and keep you in bounds because he's about to clock himself out of this game. Come on, Frank! Come on! There's that heat, and Joke is even closer now. Well, if, if, if you're D. Croft, you're upset. He invested heavily in a center to have these abilities to help block. However, Joke has also invested heavily in defense abilities, so he gets after the quarterback. At some point, you, you gotta think something's got to give, and this is the biggest play of the game. Yep, needing nine yards to keep it alive here. Run heavy, Joke. If he gets it back, he'll just milk clock and head ever closer to that first belt. Let's go! Gotta get the pass away and does Let's not go! Die. Come on! Perfect Come defense on. brought the hounds. Just it's just really just been blitzing everyone cover two, Let's or then go. dropping everyone in coverage out of cover three, cover four, whatever. Whatever Joke's doing on defense, Decroft obviously does not like, and Joke is just gonna pound the rock and make this a three-possession game. Uh, Decroft, oh, who at this time yesterday, Fine. Skimbo tweeted out the word finish. Instead, might be finished. Add an ED no. at the end of that. It's looking like joke. And could it be back-to-back -back Madden Bowl shutout? We had a 41-0 Madden Bowl recently. This one 14 to nothing. And you see Decroft getting his timeouts early. If you're a fan of Decroft, you want to come back, you gotta pray for him to land these hit sticks. He cannot wrap up. He's gotta go for hit sticks. Now again, in field goal range, very close to making it a three-possession game and a near impossible comeback for Decroft. And now you're going to go and try to help you have a boost play of the year and block the kick, and he's not. He's got to make it a three-possession game. Tell you what, Mr. Close But No Cigar can finally light one up here if he wants to. He's getting that close, and again, in his 11th opportunity, fifth time he's been in a Final Four. It's been a long wait 
for Rydell Brito, but here he is, 226 away. And if you're a choke, you can smell it. Like, I, I, he said in his interview, and that's actually something I struggled with when I started, like, lost my first ones. I was thinking about what I was going to say. I wasn't even thinking about the game. And then finally it took me a moment, hey, you got to remember the, what the task is at hand, and you got to finish the job first. And I'm telling you right now, he is thinking ahead because he is so close to putting this game completely away. That pass whistles over to John Ross right at the first down sticks. Remember, he was telling our guys earlier that the one thing he, he was coaching himself up on, talking about jokes, is don't cry. Don't cry if it happens. But you know what? Do what you want to, big guy. You are even closer now. Dwight on, Craney man. with his second sack. You know, if you've been watching that Michael Jordan, though, special on ESPN, man, when you saw Michael win his first championship, he was crying like a baby. You know, it's just all that fight, all those years, and it finally just pays off. And I wouldn't be surprised if Joke does it. This guy's been grinding this game for so long, and for him to finally win a belt like this, this is going to mean so much to him, and, and you just know it is. There's Mostert out of the backfield and a clanging hit on him. And you know, back to our Phil Mickelson comparison, Skimbo, it's not like he even needs the 18-foot putt now on 18. I mean, he can just kind of cruise here up by 17. Absolutely. He can tap it in and pick up the ball and show it to the fans because that's how close he is. This game is pretty much over. That Frank Clark is an animal. I love you, Frank. I love you. That's, that's the beast the card to have. Guy, no question that's about it. That's the reason why we didn't use the quarterback. Now you heard it right there. That's Put all the chips to the middle of the table of on your defense. And Frank Clark was the guy for Decroft in the semifinal, right? He had five and a half sacks for Decroft. I mean, this is one of the most impressive finals I've ever seen when the opposition doesn't score a point. This, now this is pride. This is trying to set history if you're a joke. To have a finals and shut them out, that's going to feel awesome. Still a great year for Decroft. We've called him the team Titan. But against the Titans right now, even though he gets the first down here, he is just going to run out of time. I want to see Joe take some pride and just get a shutout. I really do. Don't let off. Call the defense you've been calling all game. You know you've probably won this game. It's, it's honestly 99.9% .9 he's won this game. However, this is pride. Don't give up a point. If I'm him, I'm definitely going for the shutout. Rodgers will get wrestled down one more time. And again, it's always a 55, right? It's either Jerome Baker or Frank Clark. It, it is. He's put so much cap in this defense and just watch him fight. It's just unbelievable how good they're fighting for him. Well, Marquise Brown, who's been a big time performer for Decroft all week. Again, just too little too late here. Look at Joe. He showed emotion when he gave that up. He doesn't want to give up a point. Let's and that's go! gonna do it. That's it. It's Stop. over. That's we do. Now in a perfect world, confetti Let's would go, be in man. his hair right now, a belt raised above his head. We'll do the next best thing in short order. In his room, in his Let's sanctuary, go. knowing he's the king of the Madden Let's community, go. it is right El Brito. It's Raiders a 17 ever. nothing final, no he said finally, Best right? Player in the world. No debate. I'm, I'm just so, you, I'm you. so happy for him, man. This is a guy that puts so much time every year in the game. And to finally get your first belt, your championship, it's just Let's like, go. it's just such a great feeling. I'm so, I'm so happy for Joke. And you can see his family is too. Skimbo, what a pleasure working with you, my friend. You've got three belts, but now finally Joke has won. We'll have a special